Hello everybody, this is Dreamer back for the conclusion of the Spooky Showdown 2023 edition. We got our four, we got our top four combatants: Black T Rex, Sorofagonax, Irritator, and T Rex, ready to duke it out to be crowned the winner of the Spooky Showdown tournament. So. I will quickly go through how this will work, and then we will get on with our matches. Okay, so we have two semi-final matchups. They will all be best of three. So we'll th our first lineup, we'll see Soro Fakinax taking on Irritator. And then a rematch from the previous session, Black T-Rex taking on T-Rex. And then the finale itself will be a best of three. And there's no bronze medal match because no one cares about winning whoever comes in third. In the the record. record. He's our Jurassic Apex. The sharpshooter itself is Sorofagonax. Sorofagonax enjoying a strong tournament. A really strong tournament. It was practically top until the very last round where Black T-Rex topped it. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? In the blue corner, he makes you irritated. He's irritated. Another dinosaur enjoying a fine tournament. I think all the fire types have definitely helped it. And Irritate them might win this. It's a water dinosaur. It's going to have the type advantage over whoever it faces. If it gets to the final. And it has type advantage in this matchup as well. So don't count Irritate the out. Oh, we're starting with a tie. So yeah, it is a best of three. If we do end up in a draw, it will come down to whoever has the most points. Oh, that's a big crit from the Faganax. Not a good start for the Rotator. And nope, there it is. Zero Faganax. Wasting no time in taking a 1-0 lead. All right, round two, and oh, in the Alpha Arena. Bing. Now, what's interesting is that Irritator in the round robin defeated Soil Fagonax. It beat T-Rex and Black T-Rex. Little stipulation I forgot to mention earlier. But it is 1-0 down here, so he does need to win this match to keep his tournament hopes alive. The dodgy thing with Soro Faganax is that his crit is not a fire move, so... Well, you saw in the first round where Soro Faganax got a big crit. He's getting all the hits so far. I don't think Irritator's got a hit in this match yet. Go on, Irritator, you could do better than this. Hey, that's more like it. Irritator striking back with a crucial crit. Stemming the tide. Ooh, hello. For the first time, we got Aqua Javelin. Big damage for the Irritator. And that will be, and that will be that. Irritator leveling things up. Ooh, that was a big score as well. Even though it did take a beating early on. Irritator leveling things up. Right, so I'll explain real quick how ties work. So if this net, if this concluding round ends in a tie... I will give the winner to the Irritator because it has more battle points than the Sorofagonax. So Sorofagonax has to win to go through. A draw or an Irritator win, an Irritator goes through. Hmm. Right, our concluding round. And we are in the Coliseum. It's in place for a semi-final clash. Will Irritator can carry that wave of momentum it received in round two onto this round, or will the Sorofagonax bite back? Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, that's a good start with a fag. An Anyang Guira dive to come as well. Might see Volcano Burst. That was a decent shot there. Oh, we don't. The Sorofagonax in the lead. Oh, but Irritator gets the crit! That could be a big crit! No Aqua Javelin, no. Probably a relief to the Soro Fagnax, but any hit from the Irritator will end this fight. Oh, but... 
I think this might be lethal. And it is! Irritator is burnt out against the Faganax and his sorrow Faganax going through to the final. Well played by our, by our lizard eating master. Irritator definitely put up a fight and made it difficult, but so Faganax got it done in the end and books his place in the final. Right, on to our second semi final. Okie dokie, in the red corner. He's big, he's bad, he's our big, bad Black T Rex. Black T Rex, a tournament favourite going into this, finished top. Well, after winning in round nine against its opponent, the T Rex. In the blue corner, we got our big red apex of the Cretaceous, the tyrant, it's T Rex. T Rex also enjoying a decent tournament, managed to get a fourth place finish. I think the amount of battle points it racked up really helped it. If it didn't get as many battle points, it might not, it might not have got this far. Now, as I said, Black T-Rex did beat T-Rex during our main event in the previous video. So, I think Black T-Rex might have the upper hand here, but let's be honest, this is, this is a 50-50. This could go either way. Oh, that's not a good start with the T-Rex. Oh, wow. Um... This is not going well, is it? T-Rex really needs to get the next hit here. Okay, it's a tie. At least it's landing damage. But Black T-Rex showing its overwhelming power so far. Ooh, but the T-Rex does get a tail smash. Can it come back? Crit might actually be lethal. But Black T Rex is having none of it. But T Rex does get another hit on the board. The mind game's here. Black T Rex going for that scissors, trying to stop the normal T Rex going for paper. But it's getting countered by the tail smash. And all of a sudden. Ooh, three tail smashes in a row. And I think. I think that is going to be lethal, and that will put T-Rex 1-0 up, coming from the brink to get the win. Right, round two. The T-Rex 1-0 up after that come from behind victory. I think we could be in for an interesting round two here, Black T-Rex. Well, it needs to level things up, doesn't it? Ooh, getting off to a good start. Just like just like round one, the kamikaze tackle. Oh, that could be a big crit. Blazing spin attacks, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. You'd have to say so far in this matchup, T-Rex has been on top. And could be one hit away from booking his place in the final. Oh, is it that hit? Okay, if Black T-Rex survives this, I think it will. We might see Deathfire. No, oh, it doesn't! And it's T-Rex going through, avenging his loss in the round robin. Knocking out the Black T-Rex and going through to the final. Right, no need for round three now, is there? <laughs> so yeah, that is our final two, ladies and gentlemen. It will be Soro Faganax going up against T-Rex. And let's not waste time. Let's get on with that finale. In the red, red corner, corner. For one, one final, final out in our Jurassic, Jurassic Apex. Apex. It's Soro Faganax. Soro Faganax coming in here. Fresh off his victory against Irritator. In the blue corner, we have our Cretaceous Apex. It's T-Rex. T 
T-Rex coming off the back of that big victory over Black T-Rex. Does have the head-to-head -head here because it did beat the Sorophagonex in the round robin. This is an interesting one. Both of these guys got powerful crits. I think T-Rex edges out the Phaganax in that department, though the Blazing Spin, I suspect, would do more damage. The Soro Phaganax has that damage stacking ability, so this is this is too close to call. This is going to be a really tight contest. Hopefully. I think I've just jinxed it, haven't I? Yeah. So fucking axe off to a strong start. Can't, well, we've seen T-Rex come from behind in the semis. Can't come from behind again. Nope, nope. So fucking axe takes the lead. Quite a convincing lead as well. Ooh, that could be big for the fucking axe. Oh, we're back in the volcano field for round two of this fiery, spooky showdown finale. Now, T-Rex was on the ropes in that first round, so he's going to need to strike back here. Sir Fagnox was pretty dominant. Ooh, and what a perfect start. A big blazing spin attack. Sorrow Fagonac's gonna get yeeted with that fire. Whee! Just the response the T-Rex would have wanted. Ooh, that's a tie. Well, Sorrow Fagonac's has had a few comebacks in this tournament, so you don't count it out. Um, okay, now you can count it out, because I'm pretty confident that this Tail Smash is gonna finish the job. And just like that, we are all square. So you know what that means? This fi final battle is going to go down to the final round. Hmm, okay, so Sorrow Fagonax got more battle points. So, as it stands, Sorrow Fagonax does have more battle points in total. So if this ends in a draw, Sorrow Fagonax will be the winner. On to the final round of this tournament. Ooh, we're, oh, we're in the Colosseum this time. A venue befitting for a finale of this magnitude. I think things are about to be heated up a bit more. T-Rex, Sorofagonax, the Tyrant Lizard, the Lizard Eating Master, who will reign supreme? Oh, that's not good. Good if you're the T-Rex. That's a crit. Big damage coming Sorofagonax's way. And this T-Rex is hunter type, so another hit and it'll be game over. Well, Fagonax, if ever you needed a hit, it was right now. Oh, oh wow, it's going to be like a mirror of round two. Going for that crit. Oh, it's a tie this time. Oh, Magma Blaster, how big could that be? Sorrow Fagonax on the brink, but he's not done yet. Oh, could have done with a Vol Volk Burst there. Really could have done with that. Oh, Sorrow Fagonax has done it! The Lizard Eating Master has won this tournament with a well timed crit, and ironic that it comes from behind to do it. And there is our spooky showdown champion for 2023. It is the Sorrow Fagonax. In a much closer round three there, the T-Rex definitely put up a fight for Sorrow Fagonax. Proving why it is a lizardy master winning this tournament. And let's be honest, I think it deserves it. I mean, it was practically top throughout the whole round robin until the final round. And it, the only reason it wasn't top was because it had so few battle points compared to the Black T-Rex. And it had a lot of close matches as well. A lot of comebacks. So overall, I think Sorrow Fagnac a very much a worthy winner of this spooky showdown tournament. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this year's iteration of the spooky showdown. And until next year, well, in terms of this tournament anyway, ta-ta.